Hello friends, welcome back to another video on Android development. In the previous video, we have stored the data on the Firebase using the push IDs. If I open the Firebase, now here you can see I have already stored the data on the Firebase by using the push IDs. Now in this video, we will learn how we can read the data by using the Firebase UI Recycler view. So first of all, we will add the dependency of the Firebase UI. Go to the Android Studio and open the Gradle script build.gradle and here we will add the dependency we will use two dependency first one is firebase ui and the second one is material this is used for recycler view so copy these two dependency and just paste it here now one more thing that we have to solve now if i go to the firebase ui page if you are using in firebase ui 6.2.0 then you have to check firebase database version this one now in my case i have firebase database 16 16.0.4 so i have to update it so just copy this firebase database version and go to the file android studio and now update this version okay now click on the sync and if you are using an other version of firebase ui then you need to update firebase database on this version all these features are available here you need to update all these versions okay now go to the android studio now close this app and first we will create the model so right click on this package new java class now i call it model now click on ok now in our firebase database now in firebase we have two nodes of data id and name so we will create private int id private string name and make sure you have same letters id and name okay now here we will create the constructor and getter setters so generate getters and setters select both field click ok now again for constructor so select constructor both fields and click ok now this time i will select empty constructor now uncheck now ok ok now our model is ready now we have to create the single layout first we will add the recycler view under this button so here we will type recycler view and that is match parent match parent and give the id let's see i type it recycler view ok now close it now we will create single view for recycler view so right click on the layout and new layout resource file and here we can say single view layout ok now click ok go to the text ok now first we have to change it into wrap content and inside this linear layout we will add two text view so add text view that is wrap content wrap content and give the id it's a text view for id and close it now copy this text view and paste it below okay also we have to give the text so let's say i type it text one two three and change the size let's say i type the size 30 dp that is enough okay now copy these two lines also and here we will paste and now change this text view id into name okay now over text views are ready let's say i type it name okay 
now go to the main activity and here we will create firebase recycler view so i will call it private firebase options select this one and here we will type model and call it sorry for that it's spelling mistake so i will call it option and now we will create adapter so private firebase adapter and here we will pass two parameter first parameter is the model and the second parameter is view holder so i call it view holder okay now here i type it adapter okay now here we will change the name my view holder that is better my view holder okay now here we have to create the class so press alt enter on it and create class my view holder okay now extend with my view holder okay now implement the method press alt enter and create constructor okay now go to main activity again and under this click listener here we will initialize that recycler view so first we will create recycler view so private recycler view and i call it recycler view now initialize this recycler view okay recycler view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view okay now recycler view dot set as fix and pass it true now recycler view dot set layout manager now i will pass it linear layout and pass the context okay now here we will initialize that adapter so first we will initialize the option is equal to new firebase recycler option and here we will pass the model so first we have to call the build method and here we will pass the model okay now here we will call the set query and here we will pass reference so and the second parameter is the model dot class okay now finally we will call build okay now our option is ready now we will initialize the adapter adapter is equal to new firebase recycler adapter okay now first we will pass it option and put a semicolon here okay inside this on create method we will inflate the layout same like simple recycler view and here we will call layout manager layout inflator dot from and parent dot get context and now call method inflate r dot layout dot single view layout and second parameter is view group so i will pass it parent and finally boolean attach is false okay now finally we will return here we new my view holder and pass this view here so here we will store it into view okay now here we will pass view okay now go to the single layout here we have two text view as you can see here now we have to initialize in my view holder so first we will create two text view here so text view first one is text view id and the second one is text view name okay now initialize it okay text view id is equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view id and now duplicate this line and now change this text view to into text view name and also change this one okay 
now over my view holder is completed now go to the main activity again now here we will set the value so holder dot text view id dot set text and by using this model object here you can see it already inflate on this method so we will pass model dot get id because we call the method set text and this is id so here we will pass inverted commas and it will convert it into string okay now again holder dot text view name dot set text and here we will pass model dot get name okay now under this adapter we will call the method adapter dot start listening and finally we will call method recycler view dot set adapter and here we will pass adapter okay now our firebase ui recycler view is ready now run the application okay now here you can see our recycler view is ready to fetch the data now open the firebase it will automatically fetch the data under this push ids now let's type an other id and type any name and now click on the save now here new text i mean data is added and also under this recycler view here you can see here data is added so in this way you can fetch the data from firebase by using firebase ui recycler view so if you have any question please ask me in the comment section please also give me your suggestion please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel and also in the next video we will learn how we can set a click listener on these items so see you in next video take care bye